Hello everyone, my name is Dominic and I'm one of the product specialists here at Spy Center Security, the Spyger Superstore. And I'm here today to talk to you about our 2K Spy Watch. Be sure to visit our website, spycenter.com. And if you would like to purchase this product, you can click on the link in the upper right hand corner or go to the description below and click on the link there. Have you ever wanted to capture body worn footage with extreme discretion, ultra high quality resolution, and still look good at the same time? Well, this is the body worn camera for you. Recording in 2K resolution with a completely hidden camera, even James Bond would marvel over this innovative quality spy watch. With a battery life of 60 minutes, you'll have plenty of time to record and capture what is needed. This hidden body worn cam is super easy to use. You'll press down the side button for about 1-2 to two seconds and it'll start recording in the incredible 2K resolution. Click the button one more time to stop the recording, and that'll land you on the standby mode. This standby mode is where you can change the recording modes from video taking to snapping 4352 by 3264 photographs, an audio only mode, or even motion activation. This spy watch camera has 16GB of built in memory, which holds up to 2 hours of high definition video. There is a proprietary USB cable that plugs into this hidden camera that allows you to plug it into the computer so that you can review the files and charge it. There's a tiny screw that hides the connection port on the actual watch. Now let me go ahead and show you what it comes with in the box and how to operate it. Alrighty guys, so now we're going to go ahead and show you everything that the 2K Ultra Spy Watch comes with today. So the first thing you'll notice when you open the box is of course the camera itself. So when we take it out and just look at it from a plain view, we'll notice that it's a very nice sleek design. You see the camera up there at the very top, and the buttons here on the side are going to be for operation purposes, and that big center one will be where you're going to actually plug in the USB cord so that you can charge and transfer your data. So let's go ahead, we'll show you here what everything else it has. So if we take out the inner liner, we'll notice that we have two different things there. We have the user manual for the unit, so this will give you a general overview as to how, to, how it functions and we have the USB charge and transfer cord. So that's what you'll use to charge the device as well as transfer the information. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and show you how it functions. So if we press and hold the top left button, it's gonna go solid blue, indicating it's into the standby state, waiting for us to tell what to do. So a single press of the button will then indicate it to start recording video and audio. If you touch the button one more time, it's gonna put it back into your standby state, which is always indicated with a solid blue LED. Two touches of the button will flash it between blue and green. This is indicating to you that it is in the snapshot picture mode. If you do a single press on the button, it's going to flash a couple times there, indicating that it has taken the picture, and then put it back into this original state, telling you what to do. To put it back into it, you'll do two clicks of the button again to put it back to the normal mode. Three clicks of the button will put it into your audio only mode. So the blue flashing LED is indicating that it is recording only audio and not video from this point. If we do four clicks on the button, you'll notice that it goes to a flashing green. This is indicating that it is recording video based off of motion. And other than that, anytime you want to get it back to the original state, you would just copy the same button sequence. So if you did four clicks, you do four clicks to put it back to the normal mode. And from there, it's always going to be a single touch to start and stop a recording or audio or picture from that point. And to turn the unit off, you're going to press and hold like so. Alrighty guys, so here we are on our sales floor. We're going to go ahead and give you a quick quality demonstration as to what the 2K Ultra Spy Watch will look and sound like. So please keep in mind, all the audio and video that you are currently about to see in here is being recorded by the watch itself. So, how you doing Jacob? I'm doing alright, Dominic, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. So this is a product demonstration that we're doing for our 2K Ultra Spy Watch, just to give you an idea of how the audio and the video will sound and look. Awesome. Thank you, sir. All the video recordings are astonishingly high quality at 2K resolution and are stored directly onto the device. You can access these recordings by plugging the camera directly into your Windows or Mac computer. And that'll allow you to play it back via Windows Media Player, VLC Media Player, or even QuickTimes. Listed in the watch memory are a text document, a settings program, and three folders for photographs, video, and audio only recordings. This program allows you to set the time and date and other just general settings. 
but it works only on Windows. Once finished, click Create Configuration File. The file will automatically update the device with what you have changed. You can still set the time and date on a Mac computer, however, this process is best explained through our Quick Start Guide. Available from the product page on our website, go ahead and click on the link below to make your way there. Overall, this spy watch is top of the line in hidden body worn cameras. It's great for capturing body worn footage or audio recordings on the go. And you can even set it down and use it as just a general hidden camera for up to an hour of recording. If you're looking for ultimate discretion, you can't get any better than the 2K Ultimate Spy Watch. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us, or feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe for future tutorial videos.